God, New York. How you doing? Thanks for being here. Two and a half laughs. We got a great, great, great show here for you. I am very happy to be here. I'm happy for the opportunity. I feel like we're all bonded. You guys know me. I know you. So I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to get all the bad jokes out of the way at the beginning. So it'll be like a little treat for you at the end when you, when you go through the whole set and you enjoy all the jokes. So first bad joke. What is the opposite of assassin? We'll try that again. What is the opposite of assassin? Close. Dick, dick out. <laughs> That's one you gotta wait for. <laughs> you gotta wait on that one. That's a thinking man's joke. What is the worst time to be asked, is there a banana in your pocket? <laughs> When you're shoplifting bananas. <laughs> Terrible time. <laughs> a sports bra is just a regular bra that can dunk. <laughs> that one's for me. <laughs> oh man. I don't feel too good. I don't know if it was I don't know if it was the jokes. I just don't feel too good. I was back there and like my stomach hurt. I have a headache, I just feel bloated. And I was back there and I was Googling my symptoms and I realized I had IMDB up and it told me I was John Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of ghosts, I know he's not dead, but I mean, what are we holding on to? <laughs> Anyone here believe in ghosts? Nobody here believes in ghosts? I'm not gonna judge you, I'm not sure. Because I have a cat, and like at night, there's things always falling off the uh, counters, there's doors opening and closing, there's always a bunch of weird noises all the time. I would have no idea if there was a ghost in my house. None. There would be a ghost right next to me, and I'd be like, Tink! <laughs> <laughs> and even if they did, if they were haunting over my bed, and they were like, boo! You heard those jokes before. Booze don't stop me at all. They don't affect me one bit. Like, think of a ghost in your head. I need you to do this. Close your eyes, think of a ghost. Did you think of one? That quickly? Did you have ghosts on the mind already? Oh, fantastic. You think of, like, the bedsheet ghost, right? Like what we're used to, like Pac-Man style? <laughs> Why do we think of the bedsheet ghost? Why is that our default ghost? I have no idea. That's not scary to me. Like, what's scary to me are, like, my grandparents and my grandfather singing show tunes <laughs> and my grandmother yelling at my grandfather going, Georgie, come downstairs! Sammy Davis Jr. looks purple on the TV! <laughs> <laughs> but the sheet would work, I guess. The sheet would work for someone like me because no one's afraid of a fat ghost. It would kind of tuck everything in. No one's afraid of a fat ghost. If, like they're chasing, if I'm chasing someone as a fat, they would just go upstairs. Again. Maybe next time. Why do we assume ghosts are mad all the time? Maybe they just want the Wi-Fi password. Like, why should they be mad? They don't have to spend any money on shoes. <laughs> they get to go and talk to Chris Farley and find out how David Spade was behind the scenes on Tommy Boy. Are they jealous of us being alive? Like, have you been alive recently? It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Are they jealous because they can't pet dogs? Like, you can't even pet a dog anymore without doing, like, the dog math. 
Like you see a cool dog, but then that person's wearing like minion sweatpants on a Wednesday afternoon, half drunk, and you're like, ah, oh, the dog's really cool, but then I gotta talk to the person. And you do that little bit of math in your head on how much cool the dog is compared to the person. And then you make that thing, and you're like, oh, what's your name, little guy? His name's Snickers! And I'm like, I'm not fucking asking you. I'm asking the dog what your name is. <laughs> I think the only time I was ever really convinced or very close to believing in ghosts is when I was going through a divorce, which happens to everyone. You know, we became two different people. I started meditating and taking yoga classes, and she turned her vagina into a rena center. <laughs> we just grew apart as people. <laughs> and I was sleeping on the couch, and I heard these weird noises, and I was... You know, your brain's not right when you're going through a divorce. Everything's raw and just everything. You're on edge all the time. And I'm like, what's that noise? And she goes, that's just the house settling. And that's how she sounds. That's just the house settling. <laughs> and I was like, you too, house. <laughs> of all people, I bought you those nice curtains at Target. <laughs> it was a weird time going through divorce and like getting back into the dating scene. I remember uh, the first person I ever really, really hooked on to after my wife left was this uh, cashier at Wegmans. And I used to go in all the time and like buy, I used to analyze what I would buy all the time when I go through her lane. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna make sure I get soap so she knows I clean myself and water so I'm nice and healthy and like beer so she knows I can party. <laughs> and I would really analyze, I'd go through her line all the time and make small talk and make small talk. And then after a couple days, it became that, I'm like, I'm gonna ask her out. What's, what's the worst that can happen? She'll say no, you know, and I'm ready. And so I have my regular stuff, and she starts ringing up, and she takes the water, beep, takes the beer, beep, takes the soap, beep. And she looks me right in the eye, and she goes, you know, I can tell that you're single. I'm like, uh, uh, hi, how? She goes, you know, I can tell that you're single. And I'm looking at all the stuff in the cart, and I'm like, I, I'm wondering how she figured that out, oh my god. And I was like, how? She looks at me right now, and she goes, because you're fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Tip all your bartenders. Get ready for the next two comedians. I saw them last night. They're fantastic. You guys are going to have a great time. Give it back up for your host. Thank you for having me. Two and a half laughs. Welcome back, Jake. Give a big round of applause. Good job, man.